What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another commentary of Chicago Talk. You're looking at your girl again, the Queen Bee herself, Sea Temptation. Wanted to wish you all uh, many blessings, namaste, and peace be on to you and everybody that is watching this video. Oh, my Lord. Baby, I don't know what the hell is wrong with our black society. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these black artists and these entertainers. I just don't get it. And anytime when I hear about this, it just pisses me off to the fifth power. Now I got to now I got to talk about somebody else that I just discovered about. Lord have mercy. Oh my God. Okay, I just found this out just a few minutes ago. Okay. And go check his video out, Willie D, though. That's my boy. I like him. But anyway, he did something, and I was, like, shocked as hell. Yes, I'm going to bring about one of the all-time all uh, old legends and stuff. You're going to know him. Uh, he was one of the actors from the TV show from back in the day, Good Times, Jimmy J.J. Walker. God damn, I don't know what the hell is he thinking, though, but I guess he probably, apparently, he forgot who the hell he is. But I just discovered, I found out when I was watching Willie D's video, he said that he is a Trump supporter. He likes the man and he agrees with him 90% of the time. Now, once upon a time, talking about, I'm going to talk about this clown, though, because I used to like him back in the day growing up, watching his show, but I got a real different outlet about him. Now, I mean, I used to look up to this dude, you know, when he used to play Jim J.J. on Good Times. I mean, not only he demonstrated about being a black man, uh, being in the struggle, you know, and then the, um, the show was videotaped um, in Chicago. Okay. And not only that, though, that uh, the family of the show itself was representing the black family, black unity, and also Jimmy J.J. Walker represented the black artist, you know, because he used to paint, you know, and then used to, you know, try to put his uh, portraits out, you know, and I, and I really looked up to that. But now, now that he's a grown man, I see a whole new different Jimmy Walker. I mean, not only he's only involved in dating a white woman, but you support Donald Trump. Apparently, Jimmy Walker, let me tell you something, you, for, you forgot apparently where the fuck you came from. Because as what, what the old saying goes, you never forget where you came from. But I'm going to read you, I'm going to tell you something, and I'm going to keep it real about this. And please, uh, to my subscribers, leave a comment on the bottom about this story. If you and Donald Trump were somewhere stuck on an island somewhere, on a deserted island or whatever... And if you was thirsty and was and then wanted a glass of water, I guarantee you, though, Donald Tr Trump will not waste his time finding you or bringing you a glass of water. Because guess what? Contrary to popular opinion on what the hell you believe, Donald Trump doesn't give a shit about you. He doesn't give a shit about African-American people, about the poor people, the LGBT community. I mean, because he already demonstrated that he doesn't care about anybody. Because when at his um, inauguration speech, when he said, make America right, he wasn't talking about us. So he was only looking out for his own kind, meaning the wealth. They don't care. He doesn't care about anybody in this country. And a message to him is this as well, though. It takes, oh, I mean, this America is a, is a melting pot. I mean, we have people of different colors, different creeds, different nationalities, different walks of life. And any decision that Donald Trump makes, it not only affects, you know, it affects everybody. I mean, because America is supposed to be for the people and about the people, you know. But I can see right now the way things are going on right now. We are so goddamn divided. It's not even funny. And it just, it just really makes me sad in a way I just see things the way it is right now. And what the future of this country is going to hold, I don't know. But going back to the subject with Jimmy Walker, you know, not trying to get deep into politics, but Jimmy Walker, you really need to wake the hell up and see for yourself who the hell you really truly are, you know. And it's time for us as as, Amer as Africans, though, as African Americans, we need to branch off and we need to look out for ourselves, start developing our own businesses, start rebuilding our communities, rehabbing these buildings in our communities, though, and try to get some property, get some land, you know, and start looking out for our own, though, because apparently white supremacy, they don't give a shit about us. 
They never have, and they never will. I mean, you go back into history. I mean, go back into the times of slavery. They don't give a shit about us, and guess what? And they're too they got damn busy right now trying to talk like us, think like us, dress like us, walk like us, and try to perform the same arts like us. They're like, they trying to sing like us. They want to rap like us. They want to dance like us in the whole nine yards. So... Jimmy Walker, get your mind right, though, because whether you want to, I don't care who you date, whether it's white, green, purple, blue, or whatever the case is, whether you like it or not, you are still an African American. And yo, and my thing, my thought process is this, you need to have your first priority as far as love is concerned should be for your own people. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you who to date on who to think or who to believe in because whatever you think that's your business because everybody's entitled their own to your, their own opinion but my personal opinion you no know, like I said for you to report make that statement like that towards Fox News and then you put yourself you know in a position though know, where they can have the right to ridicule you as a as an African American I wouldn't dare put myself in that type of position especially with Fox News there ain't no way in the hell I mean I stand on what I stand on is what I stand on, you know, and I'm going to stand for my people. Let me tell you something. You see this black flag right here? I don't know if you can see it or not. This is what I'm down for. And for people who don't know about the black flag, I'm going I'm to give you a brief and know about each color, what it represents. The red is for the soul, I mean, for the blood that our people had shed. The black represents the color. I represent our ancestry. And the green represents the soil that we walked in on. And I also, not only that, though, green represents divine order. So think on that, Jimmy Walker. But anyway, I'm going to get ready to end this video. So I want to say namaste and peace and blessings to everybody that is watching this video. And till the next video, I love you. I bless you. I have faith in you. And I realize the creator in each and every one of you. Until the next video, dropping the mic, I'm out.